Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest from Knocked Up, The Hangover, and Community. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Ken Jeong. <laughs> Good to have you back. How are you? How, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Is there anything wrong? Is no. Oh no. Um... Last time you were here, which was a year and a half ago, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I only ask because you danced out the last time you were here. We actually, I loved it so much. I actually, I had a clip. Uh... And you, they seemed very, very happy. And then, that's that's good, Jim. Thanks very much. I think we got the. It just seems very different than now. You seem like, are you upset or? No, I'm just, um, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to rebrand myself and uh, my brand. And uh, it's just more of the kind of the less flashy, more quiet, introspective me. And I, and I like it. <laughs> so you don't, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want to dance at all. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that. I mean, I, I, those are great times, and I certainly enjoyed that. But it's yeah. just, it. I mean, they're just some residual. Okay, just. Uh, sorry, it's just. <laughs> it just kind of... Okay. You all right? It, I'm, I'm... Okay, I, um... I just... Uh, it... Oh, who am I kidding? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's just... <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> so, um, you were, used to be a doctor. <laughs> Did you do that when you were a doctor? I Did danced you... in every exam room and Papa Nicolau smear I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Really, you didn't dance for a pap smear? Yeah, no, like, in Espanol. Woo, here we go. Yeah, here we go, Papinho, Papinho. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> I just want $5 worth of whatever you're on. So, um, uh, well, I'm glad to know that you're happy. I'm glad oh, to know that you're happy, man. Very happy, But Thank one you. thing about the doctor thing is that yeah. you, how long were you a doctor? Oh, I was a doctor for seven years at an HMO in Los Angeles, Kaiser Permanente. Yes. Worked there seven years. Yeah. My wife's a doctor. Okay. So works there, Kaiser, yeah. And you worked so hard to be a doctor well, why did you decide to make the switch? Like, what, what, why did you go, ah, enough of helping people? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> no, medicine is the best medicine. I mean, have you tried clonopin? And, um, did you, bring, but, um, did you bring enough for everyone? Just bring enough for everyone. It's in the back of my camera. You want some? Yeah, sure. And, uh, no, my, my, actually, I, I booked my first movie, actually, with Paul Rudd, that was a, as a doctor on Knocked Up. I played the doctor in Knocked Up. Okay. And I delivered Katherine Heigl's fake baby out of her fake vajay -jay. It was like, <laughs> it was. I wouldn't know. Yeah, that's wouldn't fine. Know. It's just all fake. I, I don't, yeah, know. I and don't she, know how that works. <laughs> But it was the greatest moment of my creative life at that time. Everybody who was anybody was in that movie. It was like Paul, Leslie Mann, Craig Robinson, Bill Hader, Kristen Wiig, Jonah Hill, Jason Segel, 
Adam Scott, and he, it was like the Avengers of comedy in that movie. And this was the first movie I did while having my day job. I took a vacation week in my for day job. For being a doctor. For being a doctor, I took four days out and I played a fake doctor <laughs> for four days. And it was just heaven sent working for, for Judd. And I got to meet everyone, you know, all of my heroes in comedy. And to this day, it still remains one of my favorite moments where Judd Apatow, the writer director, said to me, You are my discovery. I will put you in all my movies, and I can't wait to work with you some more. It, because of him, I have a career, so I'm very grateful. And then, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> and then the next day, I had to go back to Kaiser. <laughs> and I was so, this is true, I was very depressed going back to work. I just couldn't. I couldn't go back. I, it, was, it was time for me to go pro. I didn't even want to see. I just couldn't see a patient. There were patients waiting for hours to see me the next day. I didn't want to see them. And I literally was just like this the whole time, like a Debbie Downer. And my nurse came up to me and says, Dr. Jung, you have, you know, you have a patient in exam room, room two, that wants to see you. And I was like, well, nurse, you got a doctor who doesn't give a <laughs> that I just did a movie, Carol. It was an Apatow. <laughs> you don't get it, man. <laughs> so I quit my job. I actually, at that point, I, I quit my medical job. I saw a couple more patients, and then, and then I quit. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then when, once I quit my job, my strict traditional Korean dad was very, very pissed. He was, this, he always wanted me to be a doctor his whole life. And when I made a decision to quit, he was like, you bring great shame to junk family. <laughs> and then after the hangover, we are so proud. <laughs> of your tiny ding dong. <laughs> so when you get hangover famous, it kind of changes the Asian father from father to freeloader real quick, you know? <laughs> it's, but when I was a kid, he was like, oh, you better get me good grades. And now he's like, you better get me S-Class Mercedes. <laughs> no E-Class. You're a good son. Good son. You're a good son. Well, Thank lovely you. to see you. Thanks, Thank th you. Th thanks for being here. Thank you. You can see Ken and Caroline's on Broadway and on tour around the country. Ken, John, everybody, we'll be right back with the